the coldest open known to man. Why does it have to be so cold? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because you left the door open again? Gosh, letting out all the heat. Close sure? the door, Matt! Close I'll, the door, Matt! I'll try to close the door. Hold on. It's wide open. door sound effect here haha <laughs> insert the part where i don't put the sound effect in the video because i'm too lazy yeah. implying that we have a freaking budget spoiler we don't uh anyways we're not, um, we're not doing this for money at all <laughs> we're, we're just true doing... true we're no we're doing this so that we can get big on we can get big, big on youtube and be the next leafy is here <laughs> <laughs> be the next leafy is here i don't want to be that <laughs> Oh no! Gosh. Oh my gosh! All right, so what? Uh, what garbage? What manufactured, soulless garbage are we pumping into our souls ecosystem today, buddy? Um, today we're playing Final Fantasy VII, which is claimed as like the most like fantastic RPG to exist in mankind's history, and <laughs> we're doing this because the FF Seven remake is. I think it'll be out by the time this is out on YouTube. So, yeah. Oh. Oh boy, great. I'm super excited to play a game I haven't played. I've never played Final Fantasy VII, so I don't... That's I, fair. That... I mean, most people haven't played it until, like, it became more worldwide, like, exclusive to, like, PC, Switch, and just, like, almost every console now, which is ridiculous Ooh. to think. Wait, can you play Final Fantasy VII on the Switch? You can, yes. What? That's crazy. That's something that Sony would never do. It's something that Sony literally would murder. Like if you went back twenty years, they would they would disembowel you for saying that blasphemy in front of them. Yeah, I mean, Final Fantasy VII was originally going to try to be on N sixty four, but after Nintendo was like, "No, we're going to do it all on cartridge," they kind of just like just stopped making Final Fantasy games on Nintendo consoles for a good bit. Gosh! Oh my gosh! Are you like a fan of these meme games? I, like I said, I never. Okay, I played one Final Fantasy game, and it was Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, and I pumped like 400 hours into it. But I've never played any others. Do you? Are you into this garbage crap? Um, I played the first Final Fantasy game on a Game Boy Advance, Final Fantasy One and Two: Dawn of Souls, and I always kind of wanted to get into the games, but. A good majority of them weren't on like Nintendo consoles, so I haven't played. I've never even finished a Final Fantasy game, but the most the most time I invested in a Final Fantasy game has been seven because when that first popped on Steam, I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. And then uh, it's on Switch, and occasionally you can get the game on sale for like exactly seven dollars. So I've been playing the Switch version because it's a little more accessible and random encounters aren't as annoying, but. I'm I'm enjoying it. I I'm, I'm actually in, kind of see why people really like this game. Are you having a lot of fun? Um, I mean, it is just the bombing mission, which is like the easiest part. Like the opening stuff is not too boring, but it's kind of like the more exciting bit once you get out of the tutorial-ish stuff because you get to explore like this uh this future dystopian world of Midgar, which is just like ran by a corporation that's like killing the earth or something like that. So you're describing New York? Yeah, in a way. Kind of like New ah, York. Relevant humor. Anyway, <laughs> I'm glad that you're playing your meme game and that it's great. So it's just like a, it's just a, you know, hacky slashy RPG thingy game? Um, not really much hack and slash. It's a turn-based RPG more than anything. So Cool. It's kind of like any other Final Fantasy game that you've probably experienced before, but... The new game, it's more of a hack and slash, but they still try to implement, like, JRPG elements towards it, but it allows you to kind of, like, choose how you hack and slash stuff and how you cast spells, so it's a little more action-oriented than RPG. Hmm, video games, yes. Are you excited for the thingy? The, um, I, the re-release thingy? I'm hesitant, but I am excited to see what the remake has to hold. A lot of people are, like, mixed on it, but I played the demo when it dropped on PS4, and I'm excited to see, like, what changes they make and just, like, 
what is different between this and the PS1 version of the game. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, I've never played it, so I'm excited to play the remake and then go back and play the original and be very, very upset by it. That's what oh. I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, every... I, th I feel like everyone's going to be upset with something. Like, that's just a given. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've, I've already heard... I've already heard the rumblings of the neckbeards deep in the mountains and hollows of 4chan complaining because apparently the the whole story leaked and there's there's some hot takes in there. So, but you you before we even started, you told me not to tell you because you don't want me to ruin your happiness like I ruined your birthday last year because you can't take a joke because you're a big soy boy baby boy. But I'm respecting your dumb choice. And so I'm not going to tell you about what happened. Man, why'd you have to bring that up? Oh, never mind. Aris dies. Bye. Man.